Gentlemen, all pants were definitely not created equal. Some were created to make you look super fine, sexy, and your booty luscious. Luscious. And others are what your weird Uncle Barry rock. <laughs> but today, gentlemen, in an attempt to help you look smooth, stylish, and sexy, and not like your Uncle Barry, I'm going over seven pants that you should never wear. Number one. Mom jeans. Gentlemen, there is an epidemic of mass mom jean proportion. How sexy do I look in these jeans, right? Exactly, yeah, now, yeah, exactly. Not very sexy, even when I do the alpha hip thrust, which is disturbing in and of itself, but not as disturbing as these pants. Gentlemen, it's all about proper proportion. Mom jeans are notorious for having long, regular rises, right? Now you're like, yo, what's a rise? It's your crotch. From the button down to the bottom. Your crotch looks super long, making your legs look super short. And then if you pull it up to actually mitigate the problem, you're going to get a massive camel toe. Mom jeans also typically will have a wider leg, right? Check it out. Look how big and baggy. Like this. Notice the rise. Not too long. There's not a lot of extra room down in the bottom of your crotch. And the thigh is slim. Not too skinny, but slim. The second style of pant that no stylish man should be wearing is the pleated khaki. Pleated pants. These little puckers of fabric cause all sorts of havoc on your sexy style. The reason is because pleats are just extra fabric, all right? They have a tendency to open up and make you look pear-shaped. Ladies? No, ladies. No, 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 lady is gonna be all, like, up on your junk when you're rocking pleated khakis. The reason is because it makes you look pear-shaped. It makes you look heavy. As opposed to your shoulders nice and broad, your waist nice and thin, this actually, boom, boom, exactly, no good. Gentlemen, instead, what you should be looking for is a nice, clean, flat front khaki or chino with a leg that's not too big, not too bulky, nice and thin. Anything that breaks the visual streamline from your head down to your toes needs to be eliminated in terms of excess fabric. And you can't talk about excess fabric without talking about number three, cargo pants. I think that all of us as men understand the allure and the genius behind inventing pants with pockets because hey, if you got pockets down in your pants, you can store more things like flashlights, a knife, possibly a cat, anything. You're Johnny on the spot. You are ready for action. You're a man that knows how to get stuff done. Unfortunately, this video is all about helping you look incredibly sexy. And the visual streamline definitely gets broken when you are rocking pants with pockets down here. The visual streamline is getting broken. See that? My shoulders don't appear as broad because I got all this action down here. Instead of here, here, it's here, 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 here. Speaking of extra fabric, the fourth pant that you should never wear is something I call janky joggers. Janky joggers. You never heard the word janky? Janky is just kind of like whack. Like it's not real great. The fit obviously is terrible. The fabric's not so amazing. The looseness down at the bottom. Guys, joggers are incredible. They're one of my favorite casual pants because in my opinion, once again, it's about that visual streamline. Shoulders broad down to the ankle. So joggers, in my opinion, are an amazing amazing option. For you dudes out there that want to look casual, but still like super sick and sexy, in my opinion, joggers make you look like a style ninja, right? You look like you're ready to kick ass or run or do something incredible, but only if you're rocking a sexy ass pair of joggers like these. Gentlemen, these are the all day, every day jogger by today's video sponsor, Public Rec. So I've talked about Public Rec before because they make the most perfect pair of casual pants out there on the market, period. It's called the all day, every day pant. They are amazing in terms of the comfort, the quality, the level of styling of these things are insane. And the reason is because it's not just like small, medium, and large. They have sizes like pants. So you can do like a 28 waist with a 30 length or a 30, 30 or a 32, 30, too. They recently launched the all day everyday jogger and I gotta say I am blown away. Check it out. These are the all day everyday jogger by Public Rec. So for me when I put these on I was like blown away because I have the hardest time finding joggers that aren't like super crazy long because of my height but because you can actually choose the length these things fit me absolutely flawlessly. Another problem I typically have with joggers is that the rise is super long. Look at these because of the 
sizing system, guys, they're absolutely perfect, all right? They are super clean, super simple. They've got a zip pocket on one side to keep your valuables secure, guys. And in the back, you also have another zipper pocket. Guys, these pants are ridiculous. And of course, they also come in badass black. Guys, the silhouette, the fit, the fabric of these joggers are insane. The nicest I've ever put on. I didn't realize that joggers could look feel and fit this incredible guys there's a link down below this video to go check out the all day everyday jogger by public rec you also can check out this which is one of my new favorite shirts it's the go-to long sleeve tee public rec has more than just pants and t-shirts they've also got badass henleys not to mention polo shirts that are absolutely ridiculous guys there's also a limited time discount code public rec crushes it they've always crushed it and you're going to fall in love with them the way i have so guys hit that link use that code and go get sex as joggers that are not janky. The fifth pair of pants you should never wear are swishy pants. Pants that when you walk or run, you hear a swishing. Gentlemen, swishy pants were very popular many years ago, but they're still being sold and a lot of you guys are still rocking them. In my opinion, there are much better options out there, but the swishy pants definitely need to go. Something else that needs to go is number six, which are overly distressed or destroyed jeans. Gentlemen, it is officially time to put down the overly distressed denim and go with something a little more mild. A little trashy looking. In my opinion, I'm not saying that like you're trashy, I'm just saying that the look overall is a little bit trashy. It's not very refined, it's also not super stylish. I think these were popular like last year, the year before, the year before, but moving forward, I don't think you should rock them because they make you look a little douchey. But just remember that I'm the dude holding on with a kung fu action grip to boot cut jeans. I've loved boot cut jeans. I thought to myself, oh my god, how could anyone not wear boot cut jeans? They open up so nicely around the shoe. Gentlemen, that's where we're going to wrap things up. The seventh pair of pants you should never wear is anything with a boot cut. The problem with boot cut jeans is, once again, visual streamlined. There you are, nice and broad, muscular, going down, and then bang, right at the feet, boom, it explodes. Gentlemen, boom, explosions are never good. And that's it, gentlemen, seven styles of pants that you, in my opinion, should never be wearing because they're not stylish now. Now, should you throw them out? The answer is probably not. The reason is because in another few years, all seven of these pairs of pants that we talked about today are probably gonna come back in style, at which time, your Uncle Barry is the man. Who's the man? This guy.